Buiten deze heerlijke plantaardige gerechten heb ik namelijk ook een zakje met meelwormen. namelijk ook een zakje met meelwormen. Well, uh, we've talked here, and this is a, the, you know, we could spend hours talking about this, but this mad, insane, great reset, World Economic Forum idea of eating bugs and insects. We've talked about it before. It sounds like some Yummy. dystopian fantasy novel, but it is happening. And the reasons are, well, they're complex, but they're all, all to do with uh, trying to uh, wean people off meat. Uh, we've seen in Holland the uh, attack on farmers and so on. That's a bigger subject. But what we've seen, James, is a thousand Australian schools now being fed insects the other day. Have a look. So we've got a grab, which we'll show you in a sec, hopefully, which is some kids being fed chips made out of crushed uh, uh, crickets. Oh, yum. Very nice. And then being, uh, like gorgeous. kids, they think it's all uh, joke and fun. Maybe some salt and vinegar with but that. But, <laughs> but you know, but if you can is... make people eat bugs, you can make them do anything. You can give them bowls full of bugs yeah. and they, they, they'll, they'll submit so to the it. So kids well, eat you know these chips so. and they're in a, apparently a thousand schools in Australia yeah, now have got the kids eating Yeah, and they're giving away. And what this is, this is all about the left strategy, which is get the kids. Yep. Get the kids and change the culture. This is what... So, so they're in a, apparently a thousand schools in Australia yeah, now have got the kids eating Yeah, and they're giving away. And what this is, this is all about the left strategy, which is get the kids. Yep. Get the kids and... You tell those... Got giving the kids away. And what this is, this is all about the left strategy, which is get the kids. Yep. Get the kids and change the culture. This is what they're doing. So in the schools, they're teaching them what the adult lefties believe, which is that meat is reactionary, meat is killing the planet. And as with everything else, it's all part of what the British philosopher Roger Scruton called the culture of repudiation. So mm. everything that we do and enjoy that is a traditional pleasure, and you see this with everything yep. else, becomes the new smoking. So meat eating is the new smoking. Driving your car and enjoying that is the new smoking. Using a gas stove is the new smoking. Every single thing becomes, you know, this reactionary thing that has to be destroyed in the name of this revolution, which, of course, leaves you no place to hide, leaves your kids no place to hide, not even the lunchbox. Well, apparently the company is called Circle Harvest, and I think it was in the telly, and this had this story that a thousand Australian schools are selling these cricket chips, so parents and grandparents should find out if their kids are eating this stuff. They are laced with cricket protein, and they are told by teachers that they are a healthier alternative oh, to save the planet. Yeah, I nonsense. mean, the, the fact that these products are available is one thing, you know. It's not like in, the children are being force-fed the, the, these products, but... They're being propagandised. They are being force-fed the propaganda. So yep. when you provide the product and in class, class after class, whether it's maths, whether it's history, whether it's science, it's just this endless indoctrination about catastrophic climate change, what you can do, what we've all got to do, how guilty we are, then 
it really is providing the kids with and very this, little choice. And this is, you know, one of the things that Julia Gillard built into the national curriculum, which the coalition never unwound. Uh, oh, uh, there's a surprise. Were oh, hey, you knocked all, me over with a ticket. I know, right? You know, with, I mean, with, with, with the cross-curricular priorities, which are, you know, about indigenous. environmentalism, yep. um, Asian culture, and, uh, and indigenous affairs. So basically teaching kids, you know, your culture, your country is illegitimate, your culture's, uh, your European heritage is not, you know, legitimate, and of course, you're killing the planet. So that comes through in every single lesson. But I, 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 lesson I repeat is. what I say every time, this is child abuse. This mm -hmm. is our education system, the governments of this country abusing your children and grandchildren. And they're doing it in the name of left-wing ideology and propaganda. As Rita says, they are force-feeding this propaganda at every single level. They are abusing young, vulnerable, impression mi impressionable minds, first by terrifying them that the planet's about to be destroyed in some weird apocalypse, which is complete nonsense according to the data and the scientific facts. Once ter terrorising them, they then force them this sort of stuff. Oh, here's how you save your planet. Eat these revolting uh, chips or whatever. Well, and we've heard from child psychologists. We've had Dr Claire Rowe on this program saying that kids in Australia living in a peaceful, prosperous nation, the most privileged, lucky generation people anywhere in yep. the world ever, have got these high levels of anxiety. They are suffering mental distress because of this nonsense. And that physical distress, because if you don't eat meat, that's a whole other argument, but nutritionally, meat is critical. And uh, this push towards veganism, vegetarianism, to save the planet is so cruel to children.
Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Yahakodash, double honor unto the apostles, the elders of the great men, so that rule well, and that taught us his truth. Salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work, you know, and to all your brothers and sisters, you know, Akim and Akwat out there that believe in Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, you know, Shalom. As you saw, uh, you know, on the screen, you know, I had a few things lined up. It really started with another article of a Dutch paper that went into this uh, whole uh, bug-eating, uh, you know, propaganda that the world is now being uh, confronted with, you know, through uh, diverse, uh, you know, uh, media outlets, alternative news. You know, people are uh, pushing this agenda of uh, eating bugs and that's, that it will be better for, um, you know, um, the environment. But the funny thing is... <laughs> How do these things, uh, if you are into, uh, you know, the whole, um, if you take a look at uh, the logistics, you know, the way things are being transported, it's not going to be a difference. You know, these bugs, let's just say, okay, you know, uh, they're going to, uh, they want to do things better and um, whatever for, the, for, the, for nature, for against global warming, which is uh, bullshit anyway. And they changed everything up. Now, they don't have to transport uh, these cows and all that uh, stuff. But yet, how, how do bugs, you know, millions upon millions of bugs go from one place of the earth to the other? They have to put them on planes or they have to still, if it's a local thing, they still have to get into a, you know, a big ass truck, man, you know? And, you know, just, uh, of course, this is a whole other thing, but just to put a truck right there, it's to make it clear. But hey, it is what it is, man. These people are lying, and they will keep on lying because Esau's the devil that the, the, the Bible, uh, uh, you know, uh, speaks of, man. You know? Esau's the forefather of the so-called Caucasians, you know, According to the biblical nationality, they are the Edomites, man, and they know who they are, you know, and they are the wicked that are ruling over the, the people on this earth right now, and it is what it is, and of course, we have more enemies than these damn devils, but the number one is Esau Edom, and he's after our people, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, you know, and they can put all types of byways upon us. But we have a biblical nationality, man. We need to remember who we are and come back to our power, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is coming back for his hopeful elect, the ones that believe in him and have faith, you know, that have faith to put their lives on the line, to uh, uh, be conformed to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and not according to this uh, damn world, man, which is going down uh, anyway. So let me just go uh, back. So, so lucky for that. Um, this world is, is being ruled by these damn monkeys. You know, this is what, what's going on, man. They come in, 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 in suit and tie, but really, you know, they're demonic. Of course, the devil, you know, uh, the, the picture that you see here just represents an evil spirit. It's not like, oh, uh, like people say, oh, Satan has like uh, a pitchfork and horns on his hands, uh, of horns coming out of his uh, head, you know, laughing his ass off while he's uh, putting the trident in the back of uh, people's, uh, you know what? No, it ain't like that. They come, in, they come smoothly, like this devil also he did with our brethren in the Americas. You know, in Arsereth, you know, so people need to wake the hell up and come back to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and that's why we are teaching, man. But let me just jump to the point. I really wanted to show something here. Well, let me see. Let me just jump into the scriptures, man, because these people of the World Economic Forum, they think they, that they uh, got things uh, on lock, man. For, uh, <laughs> but of course. If you take a look at it, all right, now they're ruling. But they think that their house shall continue forever. Like, um, let me go into Psalm 49 and 11. Their inward thought is, uh, that the, it's like their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. 
They call the lands after their own names. You know, they uh, rape, rob, murder. You know, Leo Scipio Africanus named the continent of Africa uh, after himself after defeating Hannibal. You have Amerigo Vespucci, you know, which uh, 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 America is named after because America, if you really take a look at it, you know, it's bitter because that is the place where we are, uh, where we were carried to, to um, be in hard bondage, man. You know, so that's the, uh, the, 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 the valley of the shadow of death. Because there, you know, your life is not sure. You know, you, death is always around the corner, man, lurking. You know, but through the mercy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, we are not consumed, man. You know, the hopeful let will have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And, uh, of course, some of us will be made martyrs. That's the other, the flip side of it. But a lot of our people are uh, not believing in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And if they uh, die... They die in, in, in vain, man, basically, just, uh, for lack of better uh, terms. So if you have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh and you go out, hey, the Most High got you, man. But if you are in this world and being uh, 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 conformed to this world, hey, man, the Most High is going to uh, uh, put you down very low because you didn't have faith in Him, man. A lot of us, uh, uh, a lot of our people, are gonna uh, be ashamed, man, because they didn't hearken unto what we were saying out on the highways and hedges. But uh, to go back to the WEF, the World Economic Forum uh, clip, look, man, these people are have the audacity to say that uh, people will be taxed for carbon uh, for to, to have, because they have a large carbon footprint. But take a look at this Revelation 11 and 18, because they are the ones that are polluting this damn uh, this whole place, man. Revelation, Revelation 11 and 18, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. So the prophets will be rewarded, man. And to the saints, you know, the Israelites who have uh, covenant with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, and them that fear thy name, small and great. All of the, uh, the, the, the Israelites that have faith from the, from the, the greatest to the, to the smallest, man, it doesn't matter. You know, big, small, it doesn't matter. If you have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, the Most High will reward you, man. You will get what you deserve. And should it destroy them, which destroy the earth, which is uh, this damn devil, man. And he has his NWO, but the Most High will put a stop to that, man. Because now, of course, people are in the spirit of sedition. Why? Because wickedness is uh, uh, now in full effect, man. Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And that is what you're seeing. The wicked are bearing rule. That's why people are mourning. And now they're being confronted with, oh, we're going to change your diet. You're going to you're gonna change everything up because they oppress a man in his house. They tell you what to do in your own household. They, uh, 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 you know, take people's heritage, our heritage, you know. They rape, rob, and murder, you know, according to Micah. Want to make this quick, y'all are deserved because we need to head out. But, you know, you see that uh, uh, we're about to, uh, you know, uh, teach out on the highways and hedges, man. So I wanted to jump into this, but hey, uh, y'all are I'm going to keep it short and to the point. But this is what's going on, man. The people don't care. The people that rule right, right now don't care about the, the, the ones that are in need. Proverbs 29 and 7. The righteous consider it the cause of the poor. But the wicked regarded not to know it. They don't give a damn. They were like, man, shut up and this is what you're going to eat. You know, and they are indoctrinating the children because the children suck everything up like a sponge. And they think it's normal. If you teach your children, it's just like with us in the book of Maccabees, in the beginning of the, the Gentiles, uh, when we were under uh, um, Antiochus Epiphanes, you know, he did away with all the law. He made it punishable by death. If you kept the law of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, so if you are being uh, grown, uh, groomed by that wicked society, you know, under that wicked legislation, then you will have children that will grow up in that that are going to be born in that uh, situation in that society, and they will think it's the the uh, basically the the standard, you know. But the Most High always had uh, his uh, uh, elect. The Most High always had his people. And, of course, he took away our heritage, but he gave us his, uh, everything back, man. The Most High has his elect. 
you know, from the day that he created everything, the Most High already knew who was uh, his, man. He already knew because he is Yahweh. He exists. Everything comes from him. He's from everlasting, you know. And the Alpha and Omega, you know, the beginning and the end, Yahweh Shai, he will come and save us from this hellhole, man. Because this is the future, man. Sodomites all over the place, eating bugs, you know. Of course, uh, John, he ate locusts and honey. But for the rest, don't we have the, uh, the Peshach to keep where you eat meat? You know, so uh, uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, you know, you name it. So there's different things that we eat, you know. So, but these devils, they pollute everything that you, uh, that you see, man. Because this world is governed by the wicked. So, verse 12, if a ruler harkens to lies, all his servants are wicked and they will set themselves up like in you can go to uh, the book of Sarah chapter 10 verse 1 and 2 you know he surrounds himself with the same people to uh, to uh, perpetuate his wicked plans so that no one would go and rise up against him but you know what the funny thing is that this is also the the time of Daniel the second chapter wherein uh, we are in the iron mixed with the miry clay we are in that uh, kingdom right now the feet and it's falling apart and that represents that these devils they can get along because everyone is out there for his own man they can't agree on a lot of things so everyone has has uh, uh, a plan and of course now certain things you have a uh, like a uh, um, like a uh, the, the basics of their plans which is you know uh, depopulation you know so that is still in effect, but they won't be able to uh, succeed when it comes to the NWO, man. Job 14, verse 5, uh, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thus appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You know, so, and that is what the Most High has done. You, you, you can't uh, go over the bounds, over the, uh, uh, the line that the Most High has drawn for this devil because at a certain time all the previous kingdoms they had to fall for the next kingdom to come and this kingdom will have to fall for the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahushai to take over man and, and the rest will be destroyed the whole statue will come down you know the statue which uh, the Most High showed in the dream uh, when Nebuchadnezzar was ruling you know in the Babylonian uh, Empire so the prophet Daniel had to break it down man and the interpretation of that dream was sure. So it will happen, man. So this kingdom will fall down, man. But a lot of wickedness has to come. You know, the NWO, uh, these devils, their plans. You know, everyone is now uh, um, uh, groomed into that social credit score system. You know, everything is electronic. You know, the Internet of Things. Everything is connected to the net. Esau wants his eyes, his ears, everywhere around you, through your uh, your computers, your telephones, your um, even the doorbell, man, when you have that ring doorbell and all that, man. It, it might seem convenient, but it is an, uh, a way of eavesdropping into your privacy, man. So Esau wants his eyes everywhere because he wants to be like the Most High, like in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, you know? But he's going to fall down and be rem rem reminded of that he's just a man. You know, and the base man also, the most high gave him the, the, the time to rule. I mean, if you go to Lamentations, the second chapter, is the way of the most high is his plan that is being uh, carried out right now. The most high set it up the basis of men, uh, you know, if you read Daniel 4 and 17, and to rule over the, the rest, man, and to, uh, uh, you know, to have this uh, whole place be like hell, you know. Job 20 verse uh, 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? So it's going to be uh, a short while while this devil is uh, running, because he's wicked, you know? He's a wicked, a wicked piece of dung, man. So, bear me for a moment. So, you know, this devil, uh, he, he can't make it, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in the sense of ruling forever. Because we already read the scriptures concerning that, man. You know, this devil is done in a, in a, in the moment. Because he's a wicked piece of shit. So his triumph is going to be short, man. You know? So you can read the rest for yourself. I wanted to go to um, 
Hold on, this, this is a good one, by the way. <laughs> but wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. This is, uh, I'm going to be going right to the same. Let me see. It's almost at the door. Bear with me for a moment. I'm going to pause this and be right back. Okay, so to go back, I'll have to go back in this. To continue with Job 20, verse 6. Though his excellency mount up, mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds, you know, this devil might have it, uh, you know, unlocked for, for, you know, for a little moment, you know, but he won't have it unlocked forever. It might seem like it, but it ain't, but it ain't his, um, uh, you know, it ain't reality, man. He's gonna, let me just read it, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, his own shit. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. So you see that you know um, Esau will be eradicated, and he will be just like a vision of the night, gone, man. Then you know it, and then it's gone. That's how Esau will be history, man. Now his children, you know, you see, oh yeah, BLM, BLM is also BS, man. Some sort of movement where this, these damn, uh, uh, you know, two thirds rob our people that are clinging unto them and not unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So they get what they deserve, man, by, you know, sponsoring George Soros, because that's really uh, the one that you're sponsoring, man. If I'm correct, if I remind it correctly. But anyway, you you supporting this this devil because it's a part of his his system, man. You know. So, let me go to uh, Job chapter 5. Let me see. So, okay, let me... Job 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taken the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. So, all their plans that they're making, man, the Most High is going to flip it upside down, and he's going to disappoint the devices of the craft. So all their plans, the devices, you know, they will be uh, uh, cut short, man. They cannot perform their enterprise, their master plan, which is the NWO. But to go back to the, uh, the to the children, let me see. Proverbs 22, verse 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. You know, so... You need to uh, teach your children about Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, about what what to eat, what not to eat. Uh, you know, that's also part of this doctrine, man. We have Levitical, uh, uh, in, in the book of Leviticus. You know, in the, in, if you read in the Old Testament, you see about the diet. You can check the dietary laws out, man. You know, if you read uh, the book of Deuteronomy, you know, in different chapters uh, in, in that book, you will see what to do and what not to do, man. You know, so... It's all the way, it, go, it goes all the way back to Moses, man. You know? So, these devils trying to teach uh, wickedness, worldly uh, nonsense, so that they can destroy the minds of the children and make them go astray. You know? So that they will go away from Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. You know? And the children will, will literally and figuratively eat it up and think it's normal. And this is the wickedness of the damn devil. That's why, really... You need to uh, uh, watch out with uh, and be very circumspect in these times, man, concerning the, uh, your children and concerning what Esau's uh, putting out there, you know, for the children. Sodomy, eating bugs, you know, uh, all types of crazy stuff is going out there. All types of lies, man. Trying to get slavery out of the history books because, you know, but hey, shameful spewing. It's uh, going to be upon his glory, man. And it's already happening because now he can't hide the truth, man. He can't hide it. So be very aware, man. This devil is doing his, uh, doing his thing, but yet we, uh, we have to have uh, faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, not yet, but, you know, still we have to have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. To say it correctly. Or better, or, you know. <laughs> Um, let me see. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 11, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd, 
He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. So the Most High will take care of you and yours, man, you and your children. So don't uh, be uh, afraid of what's going to happen because Esau will be like a madman sparing none. But still, he will protect you if you have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. But yet, you get, you're going to have the mindset of being ready to lose everything. So it's a, it's a, it, it might seem like contradictive, but it is not. Because everything that you will lose in this world, if you will lose it, Yahweh Shai, will, what did he told the disciples, man? You will get it back 100 fold, man. You know, so it might hurt, but at the end, hey, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai got us, man. Yahweh the Zah, man. So be very uh, circumspect concerning this damn devil and his plans, but yet, you know, don't don't let that, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, basically get you out of out of shape or whatever. You know, have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. So yeah, with that, hope you edified. And I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Yahweh Kodash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of Ruel and the thought of this truth. And salutations to all the sincere Achim out there and to the sisters out there, man. Shalom.